Okay, we were, how are you all this morning? All ready? All right, okay. Beautiful day. How many of you were here last year? Remember it was raining last year? So this is better this year, a lot better. Okay. Well, this year I decided to change the book that I read from last year. And this year I'm going to read Be Brave Little Penguin. How many of you have heard of this book before? Okay, not as good. Because last year the book I read, almost anybody, everybody had heard from it before. So I, this was picked out by my two granddaughters who are sitting right here. They were special. And they said this is the one that they wanted me to read. So I'm going to read it to you all today. So the book today is called Be Brave Little Penguin. Do you all know what brave means? That means we got a lot of courage and when things get really tough, you gotta have to be very, very brave. Be brave, little penguin. In the cold Antarctic sunshine, where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all of their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones. There were penguins short and tall. But little penguin Pip Pip was the smallest one of all. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scary Pip Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip Pip? said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip-Pip by his hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip-Pip, dip your toes in here just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it nice and slow. But Pip-Pip said, but what if the water's freezing? Mommy, what if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if, what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up to eat me and I'm never seen again? I understand, little one, said his mommy with a kiss. But Pip Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in that water there are friends for you to meet? And what if there is, if, if it is light and warm and full of treats to eat? Take my hand, little one. Don't worry, I'm right here. But trust me, little Pip Pip. Be brave and never fear. Slowly, Pip-Pip made his way towards the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mommy, and as his small heart thumped, he closed his eyes, he held his breath, and little Pip-Pip jumped with a big splash. For a while, his mommy waited. Then she cried out, something's wrong. Pip, Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long. So she leaped into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly from nowhere came a voice that she knew. Mommy, mommy, over here. Hey, mommy, look at me. 
I'm swimming, Mommy, swimming. Look, I'm swimming. Can you see? She turned and spinning circles through the water, bright and clean, swam pip pip with the biggest smile the world has ever seen. And as she watched her little one, right there before her eyes, he burst up through the surface. He soared into the skies. Woo-hoo, cried little Pip-Pip. Look, Mommy, I can fly. It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mommy. Try. Oh, Pip-Pip laughed his Mommy as she watched him with a grim grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you've learned how to swim. Then his friends all gathered round as Pip-Pip landed with a bump and said, sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. So all of you be brave, even if you have the worst of fears, any times. Look to your mommy and your daddy and your sisters and your brothers and your friends and be brave in the toughest of times. Thank you all.